What's up guys? I'm out on the Butler chain today. It's kind of cold and windy. Exact opposite weather we had yesterday where it was got up to like 70 and it was dead calm and sunny. All the fish yesterday were locked on the bottom. It doesn't feel as nice out here today, but it should make the fish bite better. We're here at the Butler chain because the big MLF tournament's currently going on on Toho. And I don't really want to get over there and all that mess and interfere with people, make it awkward. But we're on Butler, end of January. Got my buddy Josh here from Arkansas. Throwing some big swim baits. Probably do a little, maybe some jigging spoon stuff, some stuff uh, one of my other buddies handed me at the boat ramp this morning. And Josh custom baits, bait, baits. Not as a job, it's his hobby, but he does a pretty good job of it and he brought a whole box of them today. So once we get some fish in the boat, we're gonna try out some of his stuff too. So let's uh, see what we can do. We're out here for four or five hours this morning, so we'll see you in a minute. Oh, there's one. Throw right up there, there's probably more. That was an awkward hook set. Not a big one, but the first one of the day. A lot of times you come out here and you throw these big, this is just a big, big easy on a jig head. Pretty well known around here. Usually it catches really big fish, but we'll start out with that one. Didn't get a bite on this yesterday and threw it all day long. But it shows, shows you what happens when the pressure drops back down a little bit. Hopefully we'll get some big fish. We're just slow rolling this thing. Just throwing it out, getting it over top of the grass and just reeling it. It's pretty easy stuff. And then you backlash. Yeah. I backlash too. I had that one tournament there. Yeah. That was weird to me throwing. Oh, there's a bite. You're catching spots, right? Yep. Yeah. Got good. Oh, he's pulling better. He's pulling good. No, he's just down on the grass. Good. Yeah, I think you said you had like five spots and you were feeling good about it. Yeah. Well, I thought that was fish was bigger when he hit it because yeah. he loaded up on it. Another one is slow rolling that for you a swim bait. A little bit bigger. I'm gonna switch to something different now since I know they're biting it. And uh, see if we can catch them on something besides the swim bait. But people might ask why I'm using a blue jig head because um, I'm running low on jig heads. And I pulled this off of a casting jig. Put that on there. It just, look at that. He hit it while I was dropping. I wasn't reeling. You stopped, a little pause? Yeah, a little big pause. Better? A little bit better. Yeah, you stopped to show me. Yeah. You were talking with your hand. Better? So I threw a chatterbait yesterday with a chrome blade on it and a, like a shad colored skirt. Uh -huh. And I switched to the gold chatterbait. Took the skirt off of one of my spinner baits and put a watermelon red like skinny dipper on there. But I was running my mouth when I caught this one, <laughs> telling him GoPro horror stories. And he hit that while it was falling. Buddy, one of the local guides gave me a, he owns Steel Shad. You hear me? His little jigging spoon deals. And he uh, gave me one to try out. And I thought I'd just, there's a lot of fish suspended here, although they shouldn't be with this overcast and this low pressure moving in. And this bluegill about knocked the rod out of my hand. But they work, but it's not what we're after. Oh, these are the ones that get hooks in your fingers. 
giant bluegill. Not a giant. Chatterbait. Chatterbait. Dink. I've got a gold bladed chatterbait with a little watermelon red skinny dipper. And I'm catching giant large mouth. They are not giant. You need to be throwing this chatter bit here, probably. You could have made a million casts with a chatterbait yesterday and never Isn't that and never got a bite on it because it was dead it was the opposite of today today it has gotten colder while we've been out here i know the rest of the country is like negative 50 degrees but i was born and raised in florida and this feels like it's negative 50 degrees to me i've got a t-shirt on with a thermal shirt with a long sleeve cotton t-shirt with a hooded sweatshirt with a neoprene jacket on. Ready? No, I missed him on that swim bait. Um, and I'm freezing. But we're actually catching them on moving baits where yesterday all we could get them to hit, all the fish were locked on the bottom. You get this overcast, we had a big high pressure system sitting on us. They're up moving around a little bit today. A little bit of sun breaking through every once in a while would be nice, but. And this is like probably rank number five on all my best spots, but it's the only spot we can get bit on today. Yeah, I just got boxes of the painted done. So Josh has a hobby. Addiction. An addiction, not a hobby, <laughs> of custom painting baits. And he said I can grab a couple of them. That is that uh that is awesome right there. Can I get that one? Yep. And he's gonna give me a couple of these things. He just this is just a hobby of his. He doesn't sell these things. That right there. We caught a bunch on that a long time ago. Yeah. That's like one of those evergreen deals that I recently paid like 25 bucks for. And he's giving me some of these, which is awesome. This one he texted me a picture of the other day and I saw that little deal and it's pretty crazy looking. It's got some light rattles in it but I know this summer when they get on that offshore hydrilla and start chasing shad around that that'll work on tow look at that pretty good paint job I'm gonna grab that one too if you don't mind and let me see here I'd like to get one of these Sammy looking deals here too what is this a mock-up of it's like the old um, Vixen. Like okay. Small vixen. That's a good color right there when they get on those shad. See now our shad are mostly white, but in that tanicky water that we have on Toho, when you when you when they're in when you can pick up a shad and it'll look like a chrome and blue rattle trap. Mm -hmm. But when they get in that tanicky water, they have more of a gold color to them, and that's why we catch them on those. But that'll look good right there when they're on that shad spawn. This, this uh, home, we'll call it like a Tennessee shad type top. This is what is, what is this uh, bait? I mean, I see it's a lipless crankbait, but do you know yeah. what a... Uh, no, I don't know which one it's after. It's just a, one of the blanks that you can get. 
Is that foil under there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, foil and then paint on top. I like the eyes. Yeah. Those are customized. A guy up in uh, like Connecticut makes them. These are almost like a one knocker. Mm -hmm. This one is. Yeah, there's all kinds of That one has there. different rattles in it. I'm picking out a bunch of your blue ones. He painted these up for me. I like that white belly on this one. Yeah, that's what you did. There's a little bit better blue. This one here, I do get on a lipless crankbait bite here mm -hmm. when it's sunny and windy. And they might like this blue and white. Not this time of year. They're after more like shiners, more hardy stuff. But that's pretty good right there. That white and blue. Take that. That's crazy looking. Yeah, isn't that wild? Can that's I get that one? Yeah, man. I'll put some hooks on it if you want. Yeah, I got hooks and stuff. Okay. I can get that. There you go. There's another cool one. There's a good one. Got good hooks on them and stuff. Pretty cool looking. It'll 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 do just like those frogs do. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate it. Oh man, no problem. Awesome. I've been trying to get you some. I just been busy. Custom painting baits. Baits by Josh. That would yeah. never be a marketable name. <laughs> That's what I'm calling them right now. Baits by Josh. It's so easy. We're gonna take off. We didn't fish a whole lot today. About four hours. It's super cold for me. Um, I think Josh was even kind of cold today, even though um, he's from Arkansas. But while most of this country's in deep freeze, we're complaining about 50 degree weather. We only caught like five fish today on chatter baits and swim baits. And y'all got to see some really cool baits that Josh painted up. But I will be back out here probably tomorrow. And uh, thanks for watching.